And today I'm just going to go over how to create a very simple brochure style website with three pages, um, a home page, contact page, frequently asked questions page, um, some basic considerations when you're designing a website like this. Um, I just have a JPEG open from the support files and I'm going to use this one just for part of the navigation and uh, your first step is deciding how wide the website's going to be. If you want it to fit in older monitors like 800 by 600, then you need to design it for slightly less than that, so maybe 700 and uh, you know 60 pixels or something like that. Um, if you don't mind those people having to scroll sideways who have really old monitors, screen resolutions, um, you could design for a little bit higher maybe for the 1024 by 768 uh, screen resolution monitors. Um, so anyway, for this one, what you want to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop, go to File, New, and if you go to Web, and this is CS5, um, CS4, a couple of the other ones will be somewhat similar in a lot of these options, all right? Um, so if you choose Web and then see 800 by 600 but the problem with that if you design it just to 800 by 600 if your website goes all the way across that then it still is going to want to bring up that uh, side scrolling bar a little bit because of the right hand side has that scrolling bar to go vertically and uh, so usually you drop it a little bit lower than that maybe 20 30 pixels below that um, just depending um, but for this one, let's go ahead and design for the 1024, but bring it a little bit lower. We're, I'm just going to do something like a 960, okay? So that's fine. Hit height, as long as you have a good height in there, that's fine, but I'm just going to keep it at 960. Hit OK. And that's at 66.7%. If I do Control Plus or Command Plus on the Mac, uh, you'll see the actual size here. So on my screen, which is higher resolution, um, it fits on part of the screen, that's fine. We're gonna put the content in here, and then on the sides will just be the background. All right, so first step is we wanna have um, our text for the navigation bar. Go ahead and make sure you get the layers palette open here. If not, you can go to window then layers. I'm just gonna click and let go and type in home and then I'm gonna press spacebar and just kind of divider. And then I'm gonna type in questions. Same thing. And contact. Alright. Go ahead and press the move tool up here on the toolbar. Make sure show transform controls is selected. And I'm gonna move it over here. That fits pretty nicely across the top there. Don't like the color too much. I'm going to change this, actually, I want those dividers to be black, so I'm going to bring that down there. And for the text, I'm just going to make something, something like that. And I want this to be, if you want to be the same text, you could click that eyedropper tool while you, instead of selecting something in here, see it previews it over there, but you could actually click this and it would do the same exact color. And so we'll do that. Alright, so we have our navigation bar. And uh, if you remember our photo over here, I'm just going to click and drag that off that tab up here. And then choose the move tool and click and drag it over. And I'm just going to use it as a smaller photo here. Almost like a photo. And I was gonna put it on the side here. I need to move the rest of this over a bit. So I'm just gonna hit enter to maintain those changes. Click the type layer over here. Again, if you have, Photoshop is all about layers. So if you are on this photo layer and you try to move the text you won't be able to you got to select the text the type layer over there I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so they can fit in there 
All right. And then this photo, I want a little bit of a border around the edge. So if you just go to layer, layer style, stroke, and then let's just do okay, five pixels, about the same color border there's fine, whatever. All right. All right, you can use the arrows if you're moving around or whatever. All right, so we have the navigation bar here. That's all we need. Um, the rest is going to be text down here from the support files. So go ahead and choose the crop tool there. Click and drag across like this. And you can double click anywhere in here or just press enter. And I'm actually going to drag it a little bit higher up. Something like that. Okay. Now we just need to cut this into three images. Well, actually four. All right. So what you do is make sure you see these rulers. If you don't see them, go ahead and go to view, then rulers. And click and drag some guidelines out. Doesn't matter what tool you have selected as long as you click when you're hovering right over this ruler. All right. Now if you wanted, you could click and drag from the top one. And if you wanted to, you know, just have this as an image down there. And I'll go ahead and do that just for this example. All right. Show you what I mean. Now, next step is we want to cut these. Now, some people like to use a slice tool. I like to just do this way, a little bit more customization. Um, so go ahead and click on the marquee selection tool. And I'm just going to click and drag across this area. This is not going to be an image link. It's just going to be an image. Um, actually, I need to, since I'm going to bring that in below, just uh, just stop right there because this entire area down here is going to be an image. So go ahead and just click and drag right there. And you notice it snaps to the guides there. If it's not snapping, go ahead and go to view, snap to, make sure guides is selected as well as snap. And um, it should snap to the guides there. Go ahead and go to edit, copy merged. Now we, go, we don't go to edit copy because if we did, it would copy only what's on that specific layer that's highlighted. All right, so go ahead and go to edit, copy merged, file new, and automatically it's the right size, whatever's in the clipboard, all right? So do edit paste or control V on the PC, command V on the Mac, and then just go to file, save as, and I'm gonna create a uh, new folder for our website. I'm just gonna call it website, uh, let's see, it's up about balloons and beyond, so we'll just call it balloons website, all right? I'll double click on that, and then I'm gonna change it to JPEG. I'm also going to click new folder again to make a subfolder within there and double click on that so it's in the images folder and I'm just going to call this balloon.jpg All right, 12 maximum is fine and I'll go ahead and close that out and I'm going to repeat that process for these as well so I'm going to go through this really quickly edit copy, edit, copy merge new Control S or Command S to save, and I'm going to call that home.jpg. Um, same thing here. Questions. You could do Shift Control C to the shortcut if you want for copy merged. And I'm just saving these. Be sure you click on that. Go down to JPEG. Contact. Oops, didn't go all the way to the edge there. And copy merged. And then I like to name them just something I'll remember. So I will name this contact.jpg. Notice I'd be sure to click on the format. Go down to JPEG. Otherwise, it will save it as a PSD. 
default Photoshop file, which it is good to save your master file here with all the layers as a PSD in case you need to come back and make adjustments. And the last step, I'm just going to click and drag all the way across for that file there, and it copy merged for that image, I mean. And just going to go to save as. I'm just going to call this and maybe the baseline of that area. Just something to remember. All right. So that's all the images. Um, the next step I'm going to go on the next video is to create our InDesign or our I'm sorry our Dreamweaver file and uh, actually bring those images in, add the content from the support files, and make those clickable links. So be sure to check out part two as well.